Now, First Great Western is to cut the number of announcements on its trains. By the end of the month, it will have retrained 1,000 staff to keep announcements relevant and to the point we should take some lessons. Passengers have said that many are annoying, pointless and repetitive. Mike Pearce reports. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Train manager speaking. Like to welcome. First Great Western is pleased to announce it's the end of the line for many of these. The Express Cafe is situated towards the front of the train. Since you have all your personal belongings and luggage with you, Tidcom Running and London Paddington. While some announcements are welcome, for passengers, others are an irritation. So now many are hitting the buffers. Our customers were telling us that around half of them never listened to any of the announcements we made on trains. They'd, they'd learned to sort of tune out of them and, and, and that was very worrying to us. So we had to look at very carefully at what we were saying and what customers wanted us to say, what information they needed. General common sense ones, no, I don't think you really need. People really do know the rules, don't they, that you can't smoke on the train, you know, just you know, regulation ones everyone knows. Don't forget your luggage and stuff, it does get quite annoying I suppose, especially like evening services that people might want to sleep. 1,000 train managers and guards are being trained in how to keep what they say to the point. What's going is um, where the first class section is, where the standard class section is, where the buffet is, uh, whether there's a travelling chef Smoking on board. on board. Smoking on board, the quiet coach. Was it, was it too much? It was too much, it was too much and really you know, people, most people who travel with us um, uh, know where all these things are anyway. And if they don't, it's all labelled, you know, where everything is anyway. So. so much better now? Much better, much better, that's right. It's much more concise. People wanted information about any delays that there might be ahead of them. Real useful information, but people didn't want repetitive things said to them time and time again, that, that there was just no use. And so it seems First Great Western has got from its passengers the message about announcements loud and clear. Mike Pierce there. I don't want to know where first class is, but I want to know where the buffet car is. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Well,